Hi guys, it's Przemek here and uh, it's time for our weekly update on, uh, on the development of MetaGrid version 2. Last time we were talking about buttons and their functionalities and the switch groups and we, gave, we got great feedback, so thank you very much for that. Uh, uh, you've shared some doubts regarding the terminology, uh, master, slave. Uh, we have decided that we are going to change it into uh, controller responder to be uh, more politically correct. So thanks for that. And today I'm going to dwell a bit more on the buttons uh, before I go into the, uh, the concept of uh, flexible grid. Uh, and this will be covered during our next session. So let's have a look at, uh, at some uh, examples of uh, button layouts. So at the first glance, you can see, yes, we will be able to import uh, custom graphics. Uh, so first of all, we will have access to all uh, app icons on a computer. And secondly, you will be able to upload your custom graphics from MetaServer to MetaGrid. Uh, this will enable us to create more personalized uh, grids and layouts and uh, it's going it's, it's it's a much requested functionality and we love it as well so yeah uh secondly you can see that uh buttons will have um text of various sizes and you will be able also to customize the color for the text um that's going to be also a kind of a nice uh, uh nice visual differentiation for your buttons and then you will be able to uh, use uh, additional layout type. Uh, so uh, you'll be able to have your icon on the left and the text on the right. It will be very useful for those rectangular buttons uh, that, will be able to, that you will be able to place on the flexible grid. And another feature, uh, quite very useful from my perspective, uh, is that you will be able to specify uh, the macro target for each button on the grid. So it means that you will be able to control various applications from one grid. So each button can will be able to trigger a macro in different application. It will be great from or for OmniSpace view or any grids that you will be using for controlling various applications on your Mac or PC. So that was the uh, very short, but I guess quite an interesting insight into uh, MetaGrid development, uh, what you should expect from MetaGrid version 2. Uh, as I said, uh, we'll meet next week and next week's session will be a bit longer because we'll be talking about our flexible grid concept. Uh, but that's it for today. Stay safe and let's meet next week. Bye.